Welcome to ECO20130 Mathematics Homework 2, Question 5. This question is based on Wittenberg Chapter 35, Working with Graphs, Question Number 4. Miss Alvarez is a baker, and some of her equipment breaks down one day. Normally, with all working equipment, she can bake the following loaves of bread per day, based on the number of bakers she has staffed that day. When some of her equipment breaks down, she can bake less equipment, she can bake less bread for each baker she has on staff, which is given by the last row of data in our table. Our goal for this question is to plot both curves on the same graph. I'm going to copy this data into Microsoft Excel by selecting the cell and going to Paste, Paste Special, Text. With this data, I now have the number of loaves per day that I can bake when I have a certain number of bakers on hand each day to bake the bread. Similarly, when the equipment breaks down, I also have my data set for how many loaves per day given the number of bakers I have each day. To plot this data, I'm going to insert a scatter plot with connecting lines. I'm going to right click the scatter plot and go to select data. I'm going to first add an entry for the number of loaves per day that I can make when all my equipment is working properly. So this series will be loaves per day and the x value is going to be the number of bakers I have on hand each day, and then the y values are going to be the actual number of loaves that are made each day. I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm going to add it the number of loaves per day I can make when my equipment is broken. So my series name, I'm going to reference cell B5, which is loaves per day after breakdown. For my x values, I'm going to have the number of bakers I have on hand each day. And then for my y value, I'm going to have the number of loaves per day that I can bake given my broken equipment. Now I'm going to click OK. So far, the graphs look pretty similar, which makes sense considering that the number of loaves per day separating the fully working equipment from the some equipment is broken series are relatively close together. So we expect consequently that both of these curves will be relatively close together. Now that I have my graph, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. The first thing I want to do is label my axes. So that way when I look at my graph later on, I know exactly what each axis represents. To do that, I'm going to select my graph. I'm going to go to Layout Ribbon, and then go to Axis Title, and then I'm going to label my x-axis or horizontal axis by clicking on Title Below Axis. So this is the number of bakers I have on hand each day. Next, I'm going to label my y-axis or vertical axis. Again, selecting the graph and going to axis title, primary vertical axis, and rotated title. This is going to be the loaves of bread baked per day. I want to give my entire graph a title. So I'm going to select the graph and go to chart title and then above chart. I'm going to call this bakery output. Now I 
have my legend on the side here, but I want to show more of my actual graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my legend up to the top. To do that, I'm going to select my graph and go to legend. And then I'm going to go to show legend at top. Now, what I, my legend is on the top, and it gives me a little more area for my actual graph. I'm also going to make the graph bigger. There we go. This concludes the homework. So now I'm going to label my Excel spreadsheet and save it. So this is homework three, question five. Then I'm going to save my file. And that concludes this video tutorial.